continues for the black box of British Airways, Flight 1729. Authorities remain baffled by the sudden crash that claimed the lives of over 200 passengers. Investigations into the cause are ongoing. Ah, those brave souls, members of our charity, sacrificing themselves for the epitome. A noble act indeed. It's a shame Sorel didn't pick me for the mission, but of course, she has greater plans for me, no doubt, especially after recent events. I dare to think what would have happened if I had been one of those lucky few. What might have befallen the charity if I weren't here to report what's going on? That film crew, nosing around after the crash, they really thought they could fool me. Ridiculous. I sent them packing the moment they dared to knock on my door. Did they really think we'd fall for such an obvious trap? Police, probably, or worse. But then I see Eddie and Barbara parading around with all those cameras. Fools, the pair of them. I warned the charity as soon as I saw what was happening. Lady Badger herself ordered us to shun those prying eyes. Barbara saw sense eventually, but Eddie, that boy's too simple, easily swayed by attention. And to think my Johnny, so bright and strong, succumbed to his latch, while Eddie, a brainless oaf, resists. It's an injustice, a mockery of my son's memory. But he'll get what's coming to him. I saw him just now outside my window being handed a bag by one of the film crew. Camera equipment, no doubt. Can't believe that Simpleton might jeopardise everything. And Barbara totally oblivious. Or maybe not. She was always one that enjoyed the limelight. I'll enjoy seeing them both pay for their stupidity. Oh, what on earth?